Let's go to Bill O'Reilly, who has watched a few of these and might have some opinions on what you're seeing so far tonight. It looks like the killer bees, Bernie, Biden, and Bloomberg, that you were talking about today and No Spin News, uh, maybe Biden's having the good night. Yeah, he is. Uh, he, uh, if he wins Texas, and he could, uh, Biden will then vault into the leadership position of the Democratic Party. The big story, though, is the uh, destruction of Mayor Mike. So it's over, uh, and it's over for Elizabeth Warren. You probably broadcast her last speech nationally just yeah. two minutes ago. Yeah. She's done. Um, she's got enough money to stay in, but why? And um, there's no reason for her to do that. She's not going to win any states. I don't even think she's going to win Massachusetts, her own state. Could be wrong on that. But Texas is really um, the tipping point for uh, Biden and for Bernie. So we know that Bernie's going to win California, Colorado, the very, very liberal Democratic states, he'll win. But Biden now is surging up in the South. And if he starts to take big states like Texas, you can kiss Bernie goodbye because the Democratic establishment doesn't want Sanders running against Donald Trump. Yeah. And, and what if they go? Now, this is the theory that Bernie still could go into Milwaukee with a plurality, but not a majority. And would the Democrats then risk offending all of his followers by picking somebody more mainstream. Of course, Joe Biden seems to be the one right now. Yes, the answer that they would risk that because they really don't have any choice. Um, my calculation is if Bernie Sanders ran for president, he's only competitive in 15 states. So Trump would win 35. Sanders at his best would win 15. Now, the Podestas of the world, the Rahm Emanuels, all the people who really run the Democratic Party, Terry McAuliffe, um, they know that. They know that uh, a socialist is not going to be the next president of the United States. So whatever the Democrats have to do to derail Bernie, they will do, in my opinion. Yeah. And what happens with Bloomberg? I mean, like you're saying, he may be done today. Uh, you can almost understand he spends a half billion dollars. He kind of wants to see what kind of results uh, are out there tonight. But how do they convince a billionaire that doesn't really need the Democratic Party? And by the way, was a Republican for quite a while. Uh, how do they convince him to drop out? And if he does, where do those votes go? Well, I don't think they're going to have to convince him to drop out. Mayor Mike did carry American Samoa, although he may have bought he may have bought that that whole place, but I'm not sure. He's not going to have to convince him. He didn't make any media buys. I don't know whether you guys know this, yeah. But he stopped all his media buys except in Florida, uh, where he can pull those ads if he wants to. That shows that his internal polling. Bloomberg's internal polling says he's finished. And you know what the interesting thing is? Warren destroyed him. Yeah. Warren destroyed Bloomberg. And I was stunned because all Bloomberg had to do at that first debate was turn around and go, you have some nerve, lady. You built your career on a fraud, telling everybody you were Native American and you're accusing me of stuff. You have some blank and nerve. That's all Bloomberg had to do. And then she's done. But no, he demonstrated weakness. He allowed Warren, who's a vicious woman, to tear him to pieces. And that stays in people's minds. Yeah. He's never going to get, he lost it right then and there. So I predict that Bloomberg will be out very soon, unless he's going to make a deal with Biden, maybe an ambassadorship or, or a cabinet position. Maybe the deal will take a little bit longer. Um, but Mayor Mike's not a dumb man. He is a very intelligent guy. He knows it's over. Okay, so let's go forward and say that it is Biden. And, of course, <laughs> we're, we're kind of projecting a little far, but if it's not Bernie, the assumption at this point is that it is Biden. How does it's he Biden. stack if, up against the president? If he can president? make it, if he can make it, yeah. Biden's got some really big acuity problems. He doesn't know what he's saying out there. It's not that he's making verbal mistakes. When you say to the American people, 150 million 
died from gun violence in seven years. That's not a verbal mistake. That's up here. So the Democrats know that he is having problems. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist and I can't analyze that. I'm not an MD. But the man couldn't even figure out it was Super Tuesday yesterday. He said it was Super Thursday. This is very troubling to people. So I, I can't speculate about Trump Biden other than to say that Biden does have a constituency because all he has to do is hold up a sign saying, I'm going to do what Barack did. That's all he has yeah. to do because that's what he's going to run on yeah. the Obama legacy. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly, thank you so much, there. sir. Great talking to okay. you and hope to uh, talk to you again in the future. Well, a 